Did you know that a wave of super tall skyscrapers is currently under construction across the Americas? Despite rising interest rates and office occupancy rates remaining below pre-COVID levels, many cities are eagerly joining the race to build their first super tall structures. But why the enthusiasm of these towering buildings may not seem immediately necessary? Join us as we explore the intriguing reasons behind this trend and delve into the details of one of the most captivating new super talls. Beginning our journey in Seattle, Seattle, 4 slash C, the 4 slash C, also known as 4th and Columbia, started taking shape in September 2015 when Crescent Heights bought some parking garages for $48 million. They wanted to build a super tall skyscraper, the first one in the area, with a whopping 102 stories. The original plan by LNN Architects in Seattle was bold, but changed a lot during the redesign process. Initially, the building was going to be 102 stories, but they had to reduce it to 100 stories in 2016 due to concerns about air traffic. Then, it was reduced again to 93 stories at 314 meters. But wait, there's more! In June 2020, it got a new name, Seattle Tower, and a completely new design by ODA Architects. This version stood at 361 meters, with a cool cutout in the building for a midway park. It was meant for people to enjoy some fresh air during the pandemic, while having a great view of Mount Rainier. Unfortunately, those plans changed again in October 2022 when the project switched architects. Now, Skidmore, Owings and Merrill have proposed a 91-story tower that's 310 meters tall, and this design is sticking around. As of now, construction has yet to start, and we are still determining when it will be done. But when it's finished, the views are sure to be amazing. And guess what? Super tall skyscrapers are also making their way to Texas. Austin, the waterline. Introducing the waterline, a building that's aiming to become the tallest one in Austin. When it's finished in 2026, it will just barely beat the current record by being six meters taller. The folks behind this skyscraper are the Lincoln Property Company and Karoy Residential, with the design by Con Peterson Fox. Standing at 311 meters tall, it's going to be a big part of the Texas skyline. Construction on the waterline started in June 2020 after lots of rumors and leaked pictures got people excited. The building's design is cool, mixing modern steel and glass with nature-friendly features like big windows, warm textures, and local stone. They want it to fit in nicely with the surroundings. The bottom of the building is lifted 9 meters above the street, held up by cool columns inspired by Austin's unique trees. But it's not just about looks. The waterline is all about community. The people behind it are giving back to the city with a pledge of $1 million for the Waterloo Greenway project. Plus, being part of this big public park means the waterline will be surrounded by green spaces, making life better for both residents and everyone in Austin. As you might guess from the name, the waterline will offer amazing views of the Colorado River from its height of 311 meters. Right now, construction is still on the ground level, but the core of the tower is already starting to rise near Waller Creek. Exciting stuff! Miami, Waldorf Astoria Our next featured project is one of the coolest on our list. The Waldorf Astoria Miami is aiming to be Florida's first tall building, known as a super tall. It's designed to look like a bunch of building blocks stacked loosely, making it stand out and look tall. When it's done in 2026, it'll reach an impressive 320 meters. Building tall structures in Miami is tough because it's close to water, and the ground is mostly sand and limestone. To tackle this, the builders had to use a special method called deep soil mixing to make the foundation stronger and keep out water. They also had to deal with strong winds from the sea, but they designed a strong central core to handle that and maintain the tower's sleek appearance. The hotel's design is like a sculpture that challenges gravity, with cubes arranged in a cool way to give unique views of Miami. The exterior will have a glass skin that gives it a transcendent look, and the inside will have gray and blue colors to keep that otherworldly theme. Construction started in 2022, and the Waldorf Astoria should be finished by 2026 or 2027. And here's a fun thought. Do you think we might see this building in the next GTA game set in Miami? Before we talk about South America's new tallest skyscraper, let's understand why these tall buildings are going up. 
it's interesting because the market for office skyscrapers hasn't fully recovered from the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, interest rates increased by more than 5% between early 2022 and late 2023, slowing things down. But here's the twist, fancy and modern skyscrapers seem to be doing well. People still want them, and developers are saying that these high-end skyscrapers are in demand and sell out quickly. So the skyscrapers we're discussing in this video fall into that category. Monterey, Torrey Rise. Let's look at the next cool building on our list, the Torrey Rise skyscraper in Monterey, a city in Mexico that's growing a lot and has the second highest GDP in the country. This skyscraper makes sense because Monterey is a busy and important place both socially and economically. That's why the Rise Tower is expected to become the tallest building in South America, reaching a dizzying height of 475 meters if it's finished by 2026. Imagine a tower so tall it seems to touch the clouds. The Rise will give amazing views of Monterey from its top-level sky deck. It's made entirely of concrete and has a consistent design, offering all kinds of spaces and cool things inside. Right now, we don't have all the details about the project, but we're keeping a close eye on it. If you want to stay updated on future developments, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. It's interesting to note that not all super tall buildings are made to tackle overcrowding. Some companies like JP Morgan just want their skyscraper in the perfect location. For them, that spot is 270 Park Avenue, where they're currently building a new tower. New York, 270 Park Avenue, the super eco-friendly giant tower continues to impress people passing by. The building is made up of gradually rising sections that create a step design. It sits on a raised base, 24 meters above the ground, which will have a public plaza and green spaces. The developers are committed to making life on the ground better and following New York's green policies. To achieve this, they recycled, reused, or upcycled 97% of the waste from the old Union Carbide building that was torn down. The tower will run entirely on electricity with zero carbon emissions. It will use futuristic technology to focus on health, with better air quality, nature-inspired design, and special lighting to match our natural daily rhythms. Taking a huge step into the future, smart technology and machine learning will predict, respond, and adjust to the building's energy needs, saving energy when possible. Special water systems will reduce water use by 40%. All these plans are made with the tower's 14,000 residents in mind and also to achieve LEED D certification, which is a globally recognized green building rating. In the latest news, the Stupertal Tower's frame has been finished, with the last steel beam placed at a height of 381 meters. The last step for the building to be completed in 2025 is working on the structure for the 41-meter crown of the building. Exciting stuff is happening on Park Avenue in New York. 